We'll just talk a little bit about these windows um, and the screens and the likes of. So all the windows are the same. So I'm, you'll notice I'm only using one hand. Ultimately, you do want to use two hands on the two taps. Um, the one hand there is in the middle, not off to the side. It is midi screen on every window as well. And that goes for the pop top version with the fly screens up the top there as well. Same sort of screen. The bottom half, and I will pull this up both hands, is our blind. I can join both of those together and they do release from each other. So it um, gives you your privacy, still have your airflow. The big one with the windows is a couple of stages with these. Now all these have a little gray button that need to be depressed while I turn the lever of each one of these. So you'll see there, I'll press that, turn the lever. If I don't, and I'll just reach over there, you might see, I won't be able to pull that up. If I do keep forcing it, I will break that little grey button. So be mindful, depress the button and pull the lever. Whoops, pushing on there. Um, window opens into three stages. You'll hear a click at each point. So it's just click the once. There's the second one, and then we'll open it up to the third. So there's quite a lot of room there for ventilation wise. At any point, I can just lift that up past those clicks and bring that back in. This part of the window is where it needs to be a little bit more critical. When you go to shut your window, always do your centre one first, is the easiest I've found over, over time now. Um, bring that right in and it'll click there. If I don't pull on that particular one, I could put that into that spot, it's clicked the same. That window is not closed anywhere there, I could get my fingers down there. So that's in the storage mode that we can still have the window open. If you're travelling, please bring a shovel with you inside because that will just allow that dust to pour in here and you'll have to shovel it out. So be mindful, always use that centre one. The reason why I say the centre one is if I start at one end, or even if I put that right fully closed, and then the others I push in between, just inadvertently not knowing, and I'll pull this one over, that window's got a slight bend in it now. This end's all nice and sealed tight here that end's still wide open, still got a five mil gap, so it still will allow dust to come inside. So always be mindful that it's not between the two tabs that you can see there, and I'll just quickly flick all those open again, and I'll leave that particular one there. So you can see it's in behind the two tabs, or in between the two tabs. So it was in that, that groove, and realistically, needs to come out to the front of that there. So this will come over and behind it there. Now I can do all the rest, they'll fall into place and lock off probably. All the windows down below here are the same window setup. That is a real important point on the um, dust side of things.